You know, since the whole ordeal with Polite, all I've been seeing on the internet, on YouTube mainly, is people talking about men, black men. And now it's a big discussion on how men were predators of little girls, of their sisters, of their uh, little nieces, or uh, you can't leave your children around men. But there's a cougar, a black cougar, that your mama never warned the son about. Nobody ever talks about the cougars. These are older women that lurk and look for young boys, young men and young boys that's younger than they are. These are the people that you really don't hear much about because they do their dirt in the dark. Maybe a couple of friends may know of it. And those friends that may be aware, praise them. They praise them and tell them, you go girl. And these are the same women that may be 45, 50, even in their 30s. And they try to dress like young teenage girls to compete with the young teenage girls. I know a few cases where there were some females, mainly black women, that was fighting and disputing with a teenage girl. This young teenage girl was coming in the store. She was buying pepper spray because this 30 or 40 year old woman wanted to fight her over her teenage boyfriend. And this older woman had no shame in her game. And she would walk up to this young girl, grab this young girl by her hair, and you see these, this older woman and this young girl fighting. There's cases where a mother decides to see her daughter's boyfriend her teenage daughter, her daughter that's in her early uh, 20s, that's got a boyfriend. Now the mom is competing with her daughter over the boyfriend. Nobody ever talks about that. That's kept hush-hush. These women are praised for being predators. So, and I'm gonna share a story with you. And I shared this story once before. And like I said, these are people that um, you never hear much about. They talk about men and how you got to hide your children around men, making men, primarily the so-called black man, making the so-called black man appear to be predators and rapists and molesters. When in case we're not that. Yes, there are pedophiles and rapists and perverts in all races and nationalities and sexes not just black men. I recall when I was like, what, 15, 16 years old? I know a couple of women that I dated. I was 15 years old and I was seeing a woman that was 28 years of age. I also was seeing a woman, and this is right before um, I was old enough to go in the military. I was about maybe 15 or 16 years old and I was seeing this woman that was 34 years of age. Now, there's only one person that knew about that outside of me and this woman was a good friend of mine. He was aware of it. And after school, I go home, I do what I have to do at home. Um, art was my thing, so I was in the art gallery a lot. And um, I'll stop by her house. She was ready to give me a key. I wouldn't take the key, but um, I'd go by her house after she put her kids to bed. I'm over her house. And I remember one day her husband, she was separated from her husband. And one day her husband showed up, knocked on the door and she just told me, you know, just be quiet. Don't say nothing. I'm in the bedroom. And he came there to pick up some things and I'm hearing him and her go back and forth and argue. Right. He had no idea that I was in the bedroom. Right. So after they talked and they and he begged and pleaded with her. She kicked him out. He had to go. Right. 
So this woman was 34 years of age, 34, seeing a 15, 16 year old boy, or better yet, I was a young man, right? I considered myself a young man, but I kind of felt good being with this older woman. But see, the difference between boys, a lot of boys that go through that, a lot of dudes don't tell. They don't tell. It's just like you hear in the news of these women um, that's being uh, that's being predators with elementary school level kids. And this one woman, this white chick that was in the news, she got pregnant by this young boy and she was married. So these are the type of predators that you just don't hear about. Nobody talks about it. Right. So I want to hear you guys. And listen, fellas. If there's any dudes out there that was in the same situation that I was in, you're like in your early teens or better yet, your middle to late teens and you're dating older woman in her late 20s, in her 20s, 30s, and sometimes even in the 40s. Again, we don't talk about that and they don't talk about it. You see how that woman behind me, see how her eyes are peeking? You have a lot of females that's looking just like that especially these females that be dressing their little boys like they thugs. There's something behind that. You got a little boy and you putting Tim's on him. You, you making sure that he, he's, uh, his hair is cut, you know, like the boyfriend or, or the ex that you used to date, your dream man. So you have a lot of females that's dressing their sons like the young boys or like the image that they like to see but nobody ever talk about that. And there's older women, and I used to hear this growing up, where you have older women that would tell their friends, another woman, that their son is very handsome and that when he gets older, he's gonna break a lot of women's heart. Why are you saying that about that young boy? What's going on in your mind? But see, these are things that people don't talk about. But I want to talk about it. What about the female cougars? The cougars, the one that they they call themselves cougars. They're telling you that they're predators. Just like that female's eye you pe see peeking in the back. See how she's looking at you? And if you got your son in the camera, she's looking at your little son. She's looking at how you dressing your little son with Tim's on, with his pants sagging. And you may even put some little uh, wash off tattoos on him to give that image that he's a thug. But see, nobody talks about that. Nobody talks about that when your best friend start dating your son and you don't know about it. You go into work and your young, late teen, early 20 son is at home and your best friend, women, are coming by or he's going by her house doing the do but you don't know nothing about that because see the son is not going to get pregnant the woman could get pregnant but she's an adult and to protect herself she get an abortion and nobody would ever know about it so let's talk about the cougars the ones that your mama never warn you about. We hear about all the men. They're attacking Polite, they're attacking Sarnetta, and anyone else that was linked to Polite. But what about all of these females out there, primarily in the so-called black community? What about all these female cougars? You dressing like a teenage girl with these loud colors competing with the teenage girls with their boyfriends. So feedback and tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless. <laughs>